The Acropolis District is off limits. Move along. You could have asked me, you know. What in the law's name are you on about? Sure. Let me just take that off your hands. Did I say restricted area? Slip of the tongue. What I meant was, welcome to the Acropolis District. I never could have handled the desk job. in my entire life felt more out of place than I do at this moment. Welcome to the official headquarters of the Halcyon Holdings Corporation Board. Today's greeting is brought to you by Auntie Cleo, a subsidiary of Colway Pharmaceuticals. I hear Minister Clark's moving his office into his... Always plenty of filing to be done. Always plenty of filing to be done. Do we really need all this security? I have to go through three checkpoints just to take a bathroom break. Can't be too careful. Dissidents like Phineas Wells will stop at nothing to ruin this colony. I hear Minister Clark's moving his office into his residence. Chairman Rockwell is working on some exciting new plans for the colony. State your business. Please step away. This entry is for high priority HHC business only. Huh. I didn't realize we were still using those iridescent stickers. But this looks right. I'll just need you to register your weapons with a revised request to carry 32B form. Each weapon will need a separate form. Now, let's see. Damn it. When did I run out of forms? Well, how nice for you. Do you have any idea how long it takes to request new forms? Or how many citations I'll get for impeding HHC business in the meantime? Just know there are a bunch of guards upstairs and they're all high on dervish mist and low on patience. So try anything funny and they'll paint the walls with your guts. Apologies for the wait. I was arranging my stationery. Personal assistant to Adjutant Akande and Chairman Rockwell. I'm also responsible for organizing the Adjutant's stationery, which is more of a hobby. Ah. Oh, you were being serious. I'm obliged to inform you that Chairman Rockwell is unavailable for an indeterminate duration. Will there be anything else?
Excuse me, just a moment. Is there something I can do? I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding me. I can't stand the thought of someone else's hands touching my custom letterheads. Just goes to show you never really see your hometown till you travel with a visitor. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell. And I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together. And that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about.
Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 level clearance. It's okay, I'm a doctor. I don't care if you're a brain surgeon. If you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, you're not getting in. Worth a try. You'd be surprised how often that works. Like I said, X-36 clearance only beyond this point. I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. What are you talking about? There's no such thing. What? There's no way. I'm cleared to know about all clearances. I mean, I've gotta be, right? Whoa, there's no need for that. Go on through, and let's pretend this conversation never happened. What a pleasant surprise. Thanks to you, Reginald, Philippa, and the rest are up to their old games of deception and seduction. But what are you doing here? On the other side of the lab? Why, that requires a top-level clearance. After all, we're running low on the stuff. I really shouldn't be doing this. But you did help me out. Take this keycard. It'll get you into the hibernation lab where the remaining dimethyl sulfoxide is. If you're seen by any of the guards, however, I'm afraid I can't help. Good luck. I can take a hint.
something? Cold? No visitors allowed, citizen. I'm gonna need to see some identification. Well, I may guess. She's still holding the ketchup packet incident over Holt's head, right? We've talked to her before. She can't keep letting her special friends down here. Just get out of here. I don't want to catch you hanging around.
Hey, did Tillman get transferred or something? That's right, you weren't here when it happened. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it, with interest. Nice one. You must have had them quaking on their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it hadn't worked. You have a message from adjutant Sophia Akande. No one ever looks quite the same in person as they do in my reports. And my reports of you have been exceptionally thorough. You've had quite a career. I think you're being modest. I've been keeping up with you ever since Emerald Vale. Now that was an interesting piece of work. A rundown backwater, barely worth the ink on a map. Until you showed up. When you cut off power to Edgewater, you saved me a great deal of trouble. Now I don't have to bother trying to save that town. All this happened because some mysterious stranger fell out of the sky. You have something I want. I'd like to negotiate. Phineas Wells is wanted by the board. I want to convince you to turn him in to us. He has a litany of charges against him. Vandalism, illegal experimentation, sedition. I could go on. Wells is a dangerous madman. His plan is going to endanger everyone in Halcyon. He's an obsessive psychopath. And he's using you. You're in contact with Wells. I want you to send us a tracing signal from his communication terminal. Wells was our mistake. We failed to apprehend him for years. I'm asking you to help me correct that mistake. I'm sending you my access code. Contact me from Wells' terminal. When you're done, come speak to me in my office. Adjutant Akande's call has been terminated. Will there be anything else, Captain?
have arrived at the Groundbreaker. I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path, yes? Sublight's money is inconsequential in the face of ethics. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. I like her, Captain. Let's go before we have to paint this office with her blood. Time for you to move along. You keep lingering like this, I'm bound to get nervous. think you're doing all right but I got my eye on you take your best shot apple. <laughs> If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? The repair station is currently idle.
got a lot in common, you and me. We're operating just a teensy bit outside of the manufacturer's expected parameters, huh? I could probably spend years fixing this boat, stem to stern. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! 
We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colony space, right next to my lab. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape of your plan. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a reasonably safe vector, we can skip the entire colony ship into the rings of Terra 2. I've got a healthy disregard for personal safety, but this sounds crazy, even to me. Your instincts are correct. By any reasonable definition of sanity, this plan is crazy. Isn't it wonderful? You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your navigational computer, Ada, should be able to activate the Hope's skip drive. Once you've skipped the Hope next to my lab, I'll have easy access to the frozen colonists. I can start reviving them immediately. Certainly. How can I help? Unlikely. The hope is as massive as the Groundbreaker, but compared to the rings of Terra 2, positively minuscule. The board might notice, possibly, depending on the position of their heads relative to the depth of their collective posteriors. Huh. It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up security since my little act of larceny. Skip drives were never designed to be used within a system, but I skipped my ship across Halcyon when I rescued you, and that turned out fine, mostly. That is, I ruined my ship and nearly killed myself in the process, but the maneuver was well within acceptable margins of risk. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some of humanity's most brilliant thinkers, scientists, engineers, experts in their field. If we work together, we can still find a way to save Halcyon. The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to believe otherwise. If there's even the slightest chance we can save Halcyon from oblivion, then we have to take it. Certainly. How can I help? Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. 
You'll have to connect me to the hoax comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years, but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. Forgetfulness can be an early warning sign of asphyxiation due to loss of pressurization. Are you breathing comfortably, Captain? I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. Stay safe out there. Power is out, Captain. You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. What? Explode? Holy shit! All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're a dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck.
Processing data beginning. Secure trespasser error. Hope crew data not found. Identify yourself. Error. Paradox protection protocols have prevented me from registering your stated identification. Please report to your nearest mechanical engineer.
Records indicate you have already been identified as non-standard personnel. State your purpose. Error. Binary detected. Binary has been deprecated since the invention of Anticleo's patented trippinary language. Trippinary. More bits for your bits. We appreciate your cooperation. Have a pleasant day. successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more... I see you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long? The missing one, I take it? for a cleanup.
get tired of patrolling? That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. My consolation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the Hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Well, it's been a good life. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something, now. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. We're alive! We made it! I... Uh, never had any doubts. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I'm just trying to make sure you belong here. I guess you've got a point. I don't want any trouble out of you.
was that? I'd better take a look. Captain, I am receiving a trans- Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? See you soon, Captain. <laughs>